Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, let's get into this week's Dollar General 5 off 25 trip that I made. Uh, this one's going to be real quick and easy, real simple. Uh, there was actually only two digital coupons used in the entire trip. Um, not going to be very exciting. Um, I was mostly just getting things for uh, preparing for Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, since I I'm not even going to lie and pretend that I, I cook. I'm pretty much a, a microwave chef. If it doesn't involve a microwave or maybe just a small toaster oven, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be cooking. Uh, so the only way I'm going to contribute is if I bring utensils or drinks or something like that. So, but anyhow, that's what this trip was mostly about. All right, so first off, we had the Pepsi and Mountain Dew products. Uh, 12 packs they were on sale this week three for nine dollars so three dollars a piece I picked those up and they were part of three day sale all right and then we had the Dollar General plastic cups napkins and sorted cutlery I'll uh, see the plastic cups even though they were marked clearly five dollars and five dollars on the shelf uh, they rang up for 525 as a little irritated by that but uh, but it worked out uh, because the uh, peak antifreeze was actually rang up lower than what was marked on the shelf so anyways it all evened out uh, so we had the 525 on the plastic cups uh, three dollars on the napkins and three dollars on the Dollar General uh, sorted cutlery and they had a sale going on this week with uh, on these particular items where if you bought two you got one free there is the sale the ad for it and the last thing on the list was the peak 50 50 uh, mix of the antifreeze coolant uh, it was marked on the shelf for $9.95, but actually rang up at the register $9.50. So that made up for the $0.25 cent overprice uh, ring up on the $5 plastic cups. And there was a digital coupon on it for $3. Okay, it's actually marked down $9.50 in the sales paper. Just now noticed that. Okay, so uh, with three dollar coupon, it was six dollars and fifty cents, and six dollars and fifty cents is actually a, a pretty good deal on some 50/50 mix uh, antifreeze. Um, for those that don't know a whole lot about uh, antifreeze and what it is, what you use it for, let me just get away from the coupon for just a second. And tell you about this. Um, your vehicles have to have coolant in them to keep the uh, motor from running hot. And so you use a, a mix of antifreeze and water. Uh, it's generally a 50-50 mix is what you use. Uh, and the difference between the two different kinds, if you, uh, there's a 50-50 uh, mix and then there's the full strength. Oh, uh, if you go to a store and, and look at it. Uh, they're both gonna be in gallon jugs and the the difference is, uh, other than the price, uh, the 50-50 mix is already uh, diluted with, uh, with water. So, you, like I said, you normally do a 50-50 mix. So this one's already pre-diluted, and the full strength is uh, just pure coolant, and then you have to uh, do a 50-50 mix uh, yourself. Uh, but honestly, uh, the 50, I mean, excuse me, uh, the 50-50 mix is not as good of a deal as buying uh, the full strength uh, because well when you buy the 50-50 mix you're paying for 50 percent water I mean I just it's usually cheaper to just go ahead and get the full strength even though the price tag on the shelf is going to be more you still get more product uh, for the price you get more value so you just you you spend a little bit more out of pocket but you get more product and you just add the water yourself it seems like a better value to me but um, I just went ahead and got this because cold weather is coming and they were having it on sale had the coupon so I just went ahead and picked up a bottle of that. Alright and that is going to wrap up 
the items on this trip it was real quick and easy uh, the only other digital coupon I had aside from the three dollars off of the the peak was the Dollar General 5 off of 25 for shopping on Saturday so let's go to the computer now and do the price breakdown see you guys in just a second okay guys let's review the receipt real quick and then we'll do the price breakdown so we had the three Pepsi products, the two Mountain Dews and the one Pepsi 12 pack, uh, normally priced $5.10 a piece. Uh, then we had the, uh, the Dollar General brand uh, cutlery for $3 as well as $3 for the uh, 500 count of napkins. Then we had the 100 count of the Dollar General brand plastic cups uh, at $5.25 should have been five dollars just saying marked on the package anyhow last item was the uh, peak 50 50 mix antifreeze for nine dollars and fifty cents all right so when you add up the total on all those items the subtotal will come to thirty six dollars and five cents then we're going to apply our instance uh, the Pepsi 12 packs were on sale three for ten dollars so that took off six dollars and thirty cents uh, total between the three items then the Dollar General cutlery had a buy to get one free uh, the lowest valued one was three dollars so it took off three dollars from that and it brought the subtotal to twenty six dollars and seventy five cents then we apply our two coupons we had the Dollar General five off of twenty five for shopping on Saturday took off five dollars there and then the three dollars off of the peak 50-50 mix coolant. So that brings the subtotal with coupons down to $18.75. You add your tax, $1.52, brings the total out of pocket I paid at the register to $20.27, which matches up with the subtotal and, and the, everything on the receipt here. Uh, then I had just a few uh, additional savings. Uh, the Fetch Rewards had a good deal going on uh, with the Pepsi products. Uh, it gave uh, an additional dollar off uh, for well for the Pepsi products. If you buy a 12-pack of Pepsi, you got a, uh, a dollar off. Uh, and also, the uh, Pepsi and Mountain Dew products are like the preferred brands through Fetch, so they give you additional savings uh, in general, even without the uh, uh, even if it wasn't for the uh, the 12-pack of Pepsi being like on like a special reward for it. So that was good. I got $1.15 back from that, and then I got the usual $0.05 cents back from Receipt Hawk. Uh, and if I hadn't already used my any receipt uh, discount through Ibotta, I could have got an additional $0.25 cents off, but I would already used that at Walmart earlier in the week. So anyhow, that brought my grand total to $19.07. All right, so let's see. Let's break that down by item, and it's, uh, I can go ahead and tell you it's not going to look good per item uh, just based on how much I paid out of pocket and the number of items, but let's do it anyways. I'll say $19.07. Divide that by the seven items. Yep, seven items. Uh, comes to two dollars and seventy two cents average per item which is not a good price when you compare it to other shopping trips but you have to keep in mind what I purchased and also that I was buying them for a reason I wasn't just buying them because they were on sale I had a reason for purchasing the items that I did so that's okay that's what you gotta do sometimes you don't necessarily have to just buy the cheapest item you just got to get what you gotta get and the total savings for the ones that are interested, I had $17.30 in savings, which is a 47.99% savings, which is not very good in comparison to other trips. I usually try to shoot for around uh, for 50% or above. I try to get everything half off uh, with just by using the Dollar General app and the, and the coupons uh, and paper coupons. But uh, that's fine. That you know, it is what it is. Uh, after I added the additional savings, I'm sure that my my savings did come to the uh, uh, the half off mark. But 
but anyhow it was still still a good trip uh, like I said I got things that I needed all right guys so this is going to wrap up this video uh, like I said this trip was not very impressive as far as the savings and the grand total and things like that but but it works out that way sometimes sometimes you just you need to buy stuff you can't just be looking for the great deals and and uh and just go crazy with like the detergents and shampoos and stuff like that even though there are a lot of great deals and a lot of good coupons uh, happening right now on the suave shampoos uh, body washes uh, I think uh, Dove and Tresemme has also uh, got a lot of good coupons going on right now but I'm pretty much stocked up on all that kind of stuff so I, I almost got it this trip just to sort of fill in things you know just to make the everything look good with the savings and all but uh, I decided against that I just needed to focus on getting the stuff that I needed to get uh, but anyhow I hope you found this video useful also uh, drop a like on the video please consider subscribing um, comments and suggestions are always welcome guys um, always trying to improve my videos and if there's anything you see that I need to work on uh, just let me know down in the comments I uh, appreciate the feedback. Um, also, referral links for all the saving apps that I use, the Ibotta, Fetch Rewards, Receipt Hog, so on and so forth. Uh, referral links for all those will be down in the description, so I would appreciate it if you would check those out and feel free to use my referral link. I uh, just get a little bit of a, a bonus if you do. And let's see, uh, and I believe that's going to be it uh, for this video. Um, and I hope you guys have a great week. See you later.